Hi guys, Steve here. On this video, I'm going to show you a rhino taking a napper. Oops, sorry, wrong video. On this video, I'm going to show you how to tame an army of super rhino ganaffers. Or in this video is helpful, please like and subscribe. Thank you. I've already gone over the basics on a previous video, so you might want to watch that if you haven't already. But I'll go over the basics quickly again, then we'll get straight on to creating an army of super bugs. You can find the Rhino Ganaffa in a swamp area of the island and the Lost Island map, but they're very rare and a pain in the ass to find. Right, there are a few things you'll need. The first is to kill a male Rhino Ganaffa, so you can get a pheromone off its body. Then you will feed the pheromone to your creature when you're ready to get it impregnated. You'll need to get lots of pheromones ready for each creature you want to impregnate if you're creating an army. Next you will need a selection of rare items and foods to feed your impregnated dinos when they get cravings. The baby's level will go up every time you feed its craving, so if you don't, the baby rhino ganaffa will stay a low level. So it's very important to feed your dinos cravings to get all the extra levels. Next, as you're creating an army, you will need lots of big high level tamed dinos with high drag weight to get impregnated and sacrifice, like Gigas, Carcas and Brontos. Brontos will be easier as you need to breed the creature you're going to get impregnated to have many max mutation lines as possible, and here's why. Normally when you breed two dinos together, you'll have one with most of its points into damage and the other with most of the points into health. You let them breed and then hopefully you'll get a baby with both a good health and damage in one creature. Well it kind of works the same way, but you're replacing one of the parents with a Rhino Ganaffa. A baby Rhino might get some of the stats from an adult Rhino Ganaffa and some of the stats from your tamed Dino. Now you can't choose the stats of a Rhino Ganaffa, only its level but you can choose and increase the stats of your tamed creature by breeding, especially if you breed them to have the most max mutation stat lines as possible. For example, the Rhino Ganaffa is a great creature and can do many things. So it'd benefit with a max mutation line in damage for fighting, max health mutations to give it the most health and make it tanky, max stamina mutation lines so it can fly longer and do more abilities, those are the three main standard ones. But you might also want max carry weight mutations so you can pick up and carry heavier things. It can dive underwater so you could do an oxygen mutation line if you wanted. So it could stay underwater longer. I'm not sure if a food mutation line might mean that you would have to feed the baby less. Or whether it would stop the impregnated dino getting hungrier quicker. You'd have to check that. And the only stats left are its torpor, if you don't want it to get knocked out of the sky. Then lastly, movement that you can't change. So after you've spent months of your life breeding all those max mutation lines into the creature you're going to get impregnated by the Rhino Ganaffa, hopefully all its mutated stats gets transferred to the baby Rhino Ganaffa so it can become a super stat monster. But like all breeding, it's completely random which stat lines get transferred from the parents to the baby. And it'd be pretty much of a miracle if all your mutated stat lines get transferred from your dino onto the baby without any of the stats from the adult Rhino Ganaffa going on. But you can increase your chances if you get the same female to impregnate multiple tamed dinosaurs one after another. Finding a max level female Rhino Ganaffa is extremely hard. And once it's done one impregnation, it flies away. So if you want to create an army, you'll need to trap it. So that's what we'll get onto now. And I'll do it on Edited to show you that it works. Let's say this is a max level mutation line Karka. I got a pheromone in its inventory to feed it. I spent days testing traps and I'll show you the one I came up with which is pretty good. I'll do another video after this to show you how I came to it and the mechanics, but that's five hours of footage I need to edit down. It's fairly minimal, but I always go for easy to build, easy to use and it works first. Right, let me show you how to build it. You put one square foundation in the centre, and then a triangle foundation at each side, and then off to the left or right, you put another triangle foundation. I built 10 double doorways up from the inverted triangle, but I would go 11 or 12 because it works better later on. Triangle ceilings on top, but where you have a doorway opening, you need to join those up at the top. This is where you let the Rhino Ganaffa in, and once it's in, you block the entrance off with more double doorways. The trap's three wide and that works better than two because it lets a bug fly up and down easier. All right, let's get Macaca impregnated. Go to the swamp area. 
There's one in the trees. Get its aggro. Run back to the trap. Into the entrance. Oh, there's a bug coming. It's playing with something. It does that. If you kill everything around your trap, then it won't get interrupted. Kite it in. Then net it. It's trapped. Go behind. Fill the entrance up with double doorways. Get your magnifying glass out. See who its health is. Switch to your weapon. I use a shotgun for the main damage. You can use a melee weapon if you want. One more hit should do. And then I can peck away its health with your assault rifle quickly. Again, you can use a melee weapon. Get it down to around 100. That'll do. Get on your dino. Feed it the pheromone. You want to do this before it breaks free of the net best. Walk up to the trap. Let's get a bit closer. It'll wake up. It normally needs to shoot its resin at you before it impregnates. Then it'll fly up. Its tail will glow. And you get impregnated just like that. As you can see, it's quite a good trap. And that's the hard part done. All you need to do now is feed your tame creature's cravings. The baby will be born, your creature dies. And then you can imprint on the baby until it grows up. But we want to create an army of rhino ganaphas. We have it trapped and it's not going anywhere, unless you go out of spawn distance. You should have prepared your sacrificial, super mutated line of creatures to get impregnated. Let's start with the first one. Make sure we're all on passive. We've got a pheromone ready in each one. Just level up this. Go to your trap. Now remember this one's just already impregnated. So what you need to do to reset it is to net it. Check its health again with a magnifying glass. Get it down to around 100. Sure you don't kill it. That would be rather upsetting. A few more. That'll do. Right, get back on your creature. Feed it the pheromone. Take your dino to the trap. I'm not sure of the best way to stand, whether it's head first. Because you can keep pushing forward then when the Rhino Ganapha pushes you backwards. Or go in ass first so there's more of your body to hit. After the first impregnation, it always seems to take a bit longer for it to impregnate your dino. I don't know if it's on a timer, but I've tested this trap over and over, and the longest time it's took is about two minutes. The Rhino Ganapha flies down to meet you, so it might help if you stand on something to raise you up in the air as a rhino always has to fly above you when it wants to impregnate your dino. Right, that's too impregnated. It's raining, getting a bit dark, and I want you to actually see what I'm doing. So I'm gonna wait until it stops raining. There we go, that took a while. Right, get my dino close. Just eat these raptors. Make sure you kill everything around your trap. You don't want I'm interrupting you. Right, I left that a bit too close. Net the rhino. Check its health. Peck it down to around 100. Will do. Get a new dino. Feed it a pheromone. Walk next to the trap. Now this one became a problem one and took a couple of minutes to get impregnated. 
I think it was because I brought a dino too close and Orion has started attacking it when it didn't have a pheromone on. So leave your dino out of range just to make sure. May as well level it up. Just waiting for Orion to break free of a net. I left the top of the cage open because you want its tail free to be able to impregnate you. On the next video I'll go through the mechanics and all the other traps I went through to get to this one. So be subscribed to see that. Right, it's on the ground with my creature, but you need a rhino above you in the air. I might be blocking it with my dino's head, so I'll back away. If you get a problem one like this, you can walk around a trap. You can dismount, try and get its attention. Also check its health. Shoot it a little bit to get its health down. Move around so it's not interested, like it's bugged out. And it's kind of gets stuck sometimes. But it will eventually free itself if you just keep walking around. There we go. Before it impregnates you, remember it's got to shoot its resin at you not just attack you with its claws. Stay on the sides with the open roof, not the ones joined together, because you want its tail to have free movement and not to be blocked. There you go, it's flying up, tail's glowing, and it's impregnated me. Like I say, that's about as long as you have to wait. Then you just repeat over and over and get the rest of your dinos impregnated. But if you're going to do this many to get an army, make sure you've got enough special food as you need to feed every single dino craving or your baby won't have the levels. This one craved Battle Tartare twice. Then a Rhino Horn. You'll keep feeding its cravings. Then when the incubation time's finished, the baby will burst out your tame, killing it. And you've got your very own baby rhino ganafa. Feed it raw meat because it'd be hungry. Care for it if you want to imprint on it. And it'll grow up to be a big bug. Do this with loads of them and you'll have your very own army. Please like and subscribe if this video is helpful. And share it with your friends if you think it'll help them out. Click the bell notifications and all to get notified when I upload next. Check out the links below if you want to join Patreon and chat to me on Discord buy anything from a merch store or rent a server. Thank you very much for watching and I'll link other videos at the end. Goodbye.